Hey guys, it's morning here in Thailand. Uh, just been doing some chi energy training. This year I'm, I'm focusing more on chi energy. Um, in previous years I focused more on telekinesis, like a pure telekinesis, just using the mind to move the object. And um, so I've been the last few weeks and uh, the last couple of months I've been training with a ping pong ball. Uh, you know, I used to almost always train with foil and uh, the polystyrene block. And um, I do still use these for training um, for very soft chi uh, energy uh, training where I, I use the barest minimum of energy to to make these move. And you know, people say don't train with paper, don't train with foil, don't train with these light materials because you won't get stronger. Uh, that is true. And you should be looking to move up to, to more difficult objects like this, like a ping pong ball. But, you know, these are still, these light materials, they're still great tools for, for testing and measuring your, Your very subtle chi energy, and uh, I still use them, and I'll continue to use them because I can measure my own progress using these. And uh, yeah, so I, I say it's good to it's good to stick with the light materials. You know, I don't use. I don't train with paper, I prefer foil. That's just my personal preference. Um, polystyrene blocks are a great tool for training for Qi energy. And uh, because, you know, it's a big block, it's solid, but it's also very lightweight. So, uh, so I recommend training with these light materials in combination with training, you know, training with something, he you know, a little bit heavier and more difficult. You know, in, in previous years, even last year, I wasn't able to move, you know, the, the ping pong ball on, my, on the table. I wasn't able to move, you know, just moving my hands. Ping pong ball just wouldn't move. I could see some other people in the YouTube videos but they could get the ping pong ball ping pong ball to move you know very very slightly and and I'm focused on this now and you know, I'm seeing the last few weeks of training I'm seeing slight you know development with the movement you know, just very slight development with the movement. And it's not wind, okay? This is, uh, it's, it's pure chi energy. You know, sometimes I'm moving my fingers or hands, you know, very slightly, just like this. And the ball is very gently rocking with, this, with the same motion of my fingers which proves it's not wind. Okay, I know, you know, I don't need to tell myself, but there's people out there who think that it's all 100% wind. So, so yeah, I'm just, like I said, it's morning here in my, my house in Thailand, sitting in my bedroom with my desk here. I got the beautiful view of my mountains, of the mountains, and uh, drinking uh, hot chocolate. And 
yeah you know life can be simple sometimes we want so much we want to become millionaires we want this nice sports car we want this nice motorbike we want this we want that but uh, you know sometimes it's good to focus on the, the simple things and like um, telekinesis or chi energy training it requires zero money you know we can use anything we can use paper anything you know we can sit with the object and it's free and we can we can get so much enjoyment from it so much satisfaction when we can see that you know using our mind or using chi energy we can make an object move even if it moves in the in the most slightest smallest way and uh, yeah so just want to speak briefly on chi energy and uh, telekinesis you know There's, you know, I used to think there's a, a clear line dividing telekinesis training or the energy and chi energy. <clears throat> but more and more now, the line for me is becoming more blurred. You know, it's not, it's not clear cut. Chi energy seems to flow over into telekinesis and telekinesis into chi energy because now like this morning I was using my hands with chi energy then I thought oh, I'm going to do some training because I believe and, and many people believe or some people believe that you know chi energy we can direct it through our eyes also our eyes are so powerful they're not just tools for for looking out and perceiving the outer reality our eyes uh, are very mysterious they they can be used for other powers too of course for telekinesis the mind and the eyes but, but more importantly the eyes can be used to direct chi energy you know we can flow chi energy out of our eyes towards the object that we're focused on and so I, I had the ping pong ball on the table and I was trying to you know, just allowing the energy to flow from my eyes to try to make the ping pong ball move slightly and uh, it wasn't moving this morning but uh, it's just nice to do the training because uh, I know that eventually I'll get to that point where I can affect objects just using the, the chi energy from my eyes. And if you don't want to call it chi energy, you can call it prana or life energy, you know. So, so yeah, this chi energy, it's it's magnetic in nature it has that magnetic quality uh, some people call it biomagnetism or other people like to refer to it as electromagnetism but um, whatever I don't you know I'm not into all this the scientific labeling I like to keep things simple, organic, you know, as simple as possible. I'm a simple, simple-minded guy, and I don't like to complicate things. And uh, and when I'm training, 
like for example Qi energy I don't think you know where is this energy coming from how can how can this fit into modern science is it is it somehow connected to like quantum quantum physics and atoms and the molecules and particles I don't get into that obviously that's interesting for some people and that's fine but for me you know I just keep it simple it's just energy energy can take so many different forms it can do so many things and I try to keep you know somewhat of an empty mind it's not essential I do think about other things when I'm training Chi energy so I mean I just wanted to shoot this video um, not that you know I'm not revealing any deep mystical secrets I'm just um, just talking about my training and uh, some people want to watch a video and they want to get you know straight into the important knowledge you know they want to they, they, they don't want to waste time they just want to go into the video get that piece of knowledge and get out and um, but you know my videos they're not like that and if you if you don't you know my style is more more relaxed more it's not rushed you know I don't have a script I just you know I say what comes to mind and uh, yeah I'm not the I'm not the fastest you know talker some people say I talk too slow well you can always speed up the video um, but anyway something else I want to mention is that a, a few days ago you know you know I, I'm I'm in a relationship with a, a, a Thai woman you know my Thai partner who I've been with for over 10 years now you know and we live in this house together in the north of Thailand and you know from time to time time we do have you know arguments just like any other um, couple you know partners from time to time we have disagreements and arguments but anyway uh, you know we had argument about something I can't remember but I was feeling angry and I could feel that you know the energy and and this time yeah, I could, it got to the point where I could feel this energy like flooding my forehead and it's never happened before when I got angry but but um, the anger energy must have caused something in my body to to like a pool energy pooled now before in the past I felt energy in different areas of my body um, mostly the last couple of years it's been you know at the top of my head you know right at the top of the head where there's the um, energy point and um, you know I've, I've felt subtle energy there before not not when I've been angry you know usually when I've been in a peaceful state and I felt energy dancing at the top of my head you know, you know definitely real energy um, this time like I said I felt energy pooling I'm flowing around all over this area here 
all over my forehead. And I've never experienced that before. So it was interesting for me, you know, to say the least, a, a new experience. And, uh, and I read, you know, I've read a lot about Qi energy and Qi masters from, from different books. And they say that uh, the Qi energy flows, you know, in a circuit around the body. And, uh, you know, it starts down at the base of the spine and then it gradually moves up the, the back of the spine. You know, this can be over a period of, of, of years. And then it can move to the back of the neck and then, and then later it can, you know, jump to the, to the top of the head. And sometimes the energy can get stuck in different places for months or even years. And uh, then from the top of the head down, you know, down the forehead, you know, down the central line. And then when you get the energy, you know, flowing well, when you, when you've mastered it, you know, it, it flows, you know, around your body and uh, your chi energy is flowing better, you know. But anyway, I'm, it's, I'm just thinking maybe it's related to the energy from this point where it usually is with me, maybe flowing down, you know, finally finding a path, maybe the anger energy pushed it to, to find a path down to this area. So now I'm just speculating. And, uh, you know, I'm, some of you have probably had more experience with me with the, the chi energy circuit around the body, but uh, yeah, this it was very pronounced, and I could feel it clearly. This this energy flowing and dancing around, just you know, below the surface of my skin, and uh, and then it and then it must have dissipated because of my, uh, I wasn't focused on it after that. So. So I just wanted to you know, speak about that because it's an interesting experience for me and it's related to, to Qi energy. So if you, any of you guys had similar experiences like that, I'm not sure if it's related in some way to the, um, the third eye. You know, I mean, I know the, the pineal gland is located, you know, centrally in the head. You know, the pineal gland is not here, although this is the um, this is the location. If you go deeper inside, you know, it's um, pretty much halfway inside the skull, and halfway across here. So, you know, that's basic knowledge. You, you guys know that already, and. Uh, but I just wanted to speak about the energy feeling I had experienced here. Also, I just want to, you know, I'm not, I'm not one to try to put other people down. I, I'm not one on, you know, there's a, there's a, a lot of people on YouTube making telekinesis videos, chi videos, and some sometimes in the past, I've wanted to I like, call some people out, you know, point out, make make it public, make a video about it, like a certain person that this person is fake. You guys, you're watching this person's videos. You see them moving objects or controlling objects on the table. Like using telekinesis or whatever, you see them sitting there, and you see what seems to be objects moving on the table. And you know, a lot of you guys 
or some of you guys are following these people and you're watching their videos and most likely you believe that you know what they're doing is real you believe that they have these powers of the mind to move these objects and uh, sometimes it, you know it pisses me off to see these people like uh, you know, tr tricking, you know, tricking other people who are watching the video, watching their videos, you know. And usually they, they got something to sell, they're selling a, a product of some kind on their website. And so they're, they're like scamming people, you know, pretend, making people believe they got powers. So they go to the website and they buy their product. And uh, in the past, I've wanted to call out these people and say, "Look, this this person, this YouTube person, or that YouTube person, they're not real. You're watching them, you're believing them, but they're fake." And uh, but I haven't done that. And. And I probably won't do that because, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to bring negativity to my videos. You know, I don't want to be the one that's, you know, exposing these people. And you know, sometimes I've been on YouTube for for a long, long time now. People have come and gone fake people, sometimes real people, and, you know, you've, you've, see, you, you've all seen my progress, those who have followed me, you've seen my progress, I, I'm not this amazing telekinesis master that can move, you know, big heavy objects, I'm not, and the reason is, is because I'm real, I'm I'm one of the only, I'm one of very few real, genuine practitioners of, of telekinesis and chi energy, you know, who hasn't faked, I've never made a telekinesis video where I'm faking moving an object. I've never made a chi energy video where I'm blowing on the object, or I'm doing something to uh, to fake it. You know, it's always been real. Everything's always been 100% real. Even my videos of storm training, electrokinesis. Even when I when I lived in Bangkok, Thailand, and I shot the video of me, you know, attempting to control the lightning with my hands and then, and then even not knowing that until I checked the, the video footage afterwards and seeing the, the electricity, the lightning flowing from, from my finger, you know, actually flowing from inside my finger out into the world into into the outside reality and I actually had real footage of that you know because you know I painstakingly went through that that particular video frame by frame slowing it down and uh, that's how I was managed to capture it I captured the lightning or the electricity, you know, shoot, blowing or shooting out of my my finger. And it was just one or two frames. It was a couple. Of, it was a couple of frames. And um, you know, I I saved those frames and in my you know my uh, best-selling famous book superhuman training I actually put those 
photos in that book. So you can see, it's, it's not absolutely clear because the photos are in black and white and the video, the video camera I had at the time was not like super high quality or anything, but it's there and I still have the original footage that can be you know, analyzed by scientists, <coughs> whatever. So it's not fake. What I'm saying is that I didn't use special effects. I've never used special effects. I'm not a special effects um, master and I've never even attempted using the most basic special effects you know, technology. I don't know how to do special effects. It's not my, it's not what I do. So I'm just saying that, look, I'm real. There are other people, if you see them moving stuff around, 99.9% of um, they're probably fake, okay? And I'm not saying that you can't develop telekinesis or TNG quickly. Maybe you, maybe you can. Maybe some people do. But, uh, you know, I'd love to say the names of a couple of people. They're just illusionists, you know? They set up the camera, in some way they're making the objects move using some kind of illusion, whether it's a, a fan outside of the camera frame that you can't see, you know, blowing air, or very tiny string, you know, professional quality string that illusionists you know, use in their, like magic shows or whatever. <coughs> but uh, yeah, I'm real guys and I'll always be real. There's something inside me that won't allow me, that will not allow me to cheat you guys or to, to fake anything. You know, it, it's not a part of me and I'll always be real which is why you can trust me. Uh, yeah. I mean, this video is long. It's, it's just me talking to you, you know, enjoying my hot chocolate. And, uh, so just be careful. If you see something that looks, that looks too good to be true, it's usually not true. And that's, uh, and that goes for telekinesis, chi energy, levitation. Some people try to fool, fool others making these elaborate levitation videos. It's fake. There has never been a, a video publicly released of any human Levitating, you know, that's that's real. They're all illusions, they're all fake. One day if you see me, if you see me releasing a video of me levitating, it's gonna be real, you know. So I didn't have any particular topic in mind when I, when I turned on the camera. I just thought I'd talk a little bit about, you know, chi energy training. Another thing I was thinking this morning, uh, which I sometimes do when I'm training, is that, you know, even though, you know, it seems like we're in this modern world and all the secrets of the world have been discovered already and there's no more mystery, you know, I was thinking there is, you know, we've got telekinesis, we've got chi energy. And it, it's so mysterious, this energy, even now we don't understand it. Maybe we can use it and we can demonstrate a little bit of it. But really, we don't, we don't understand what it is. It's still a mystery, you know? The telekinesis. You know, the world doesn't understand it. Scientists don't understand it. Even the people who can do it, 
They may be able to do it, but they don't understand it. And this is this is so wonderful for, for, for people like me who, who want to feel like there's still mystery in the world and secrets that are undiscovered and magic, you know, not illusions, but real magic. You know, the stuff of uh, wizards, sorcerers, and witches. You know, these magical, mystical energies, they're still here, you know? And they have, they have been for thousands and thousands of years. Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of years since the very beginning of time on this planet. These, you know, mystical, magical energies, they're undiscovered. And we have this amazing opportunity, you know, those of us who are training in telekinesis, chi energy, aerokinesis, electrokinesis, all these abilities, these psychic abilities, we have this, this chance, you know, in our life, this opportunity to dedicate ourselves to to this magical, mystical energy that, uh, that is around us at every moment, all the time. It's just a case of us dedicating the, the time out of our lives, you know, and um, I'm bringing forth, bringing forth knowledge of these mysteries, you know, into the world. You know, like the Jedi say, you know, the force is, the force is all around us. It surrounds us. It permeates all aspects of life. You know, it's inside us. It's everywhere throughout the whole universe. That's why I love um, anything related to you know Jedi or the Sith or the Force or um, sorcery, especially. You know, sometimes you see me wearing the sorcery robes with a hood, and um, because you know. It helps to connect with those ancient, those deeper ancient aspects, you know, of ourselves. And uh, sorcery is a, is a is a an excellent avenue or path that you know we can take to to allow ourselves to explore real magic, real sorcery, exploring these you know, mystical energies. Yeah, it's a good time. It's a good time to be alive, guys. It's a good time. And, uh, yeah, I'll end this video now. It's a pleasure for me talking to you. You know, just expressing what's on my mind and uh, you know, I just want to say thanks to you guys for supporting me on this journey and uh, I love you all and uh, much respect I'll talk to you guys again soon